Hello gamers, what's up boys? Today we're gonna be playing a tank that I am not the greatest fan of in the world, aka the E100, and I love that my settings have gotten reset, which is always epic. Let me see what has gotten reset. It's mainly my sensitivity. It's gonna be fine. I don't know why. We'll just deal with it. It's gonna be okay. It's still a little high, but... Hmm. It's still a little high. We'll deal with it. Anyways, welcome to the E100 video. Um, I think a lot of people also asked about and how it is. And in my opinion, it's one of the worst um, super heavies because of the fact that... Um, oh, that's why. The way this thing needs to be played is in a very particular way um, where you need to angle the turret. Of course, the hull is awful um, to play with and gets spent very, very easily. Um, it's also a slower tank, but maybe with experimental equipment, this tank will be something, I don't know, different. Uh, it can work. It can, it can most definitely work. However, I, I, I don't even see the advantage over the mouse and the tie because when I play mouse and I play type, I accept that I'm going to be getting bent by the enemy team and I'm just trading it out in return. Of course, the 100 has uh, 246 on the AP, 311 on the APCR, and then it has uh, 65 on the AHE. These are the ammo types that you can find on the E100. And then I have another question for you guys, by the way. I've been playing some advances recently again. And, well, I mean, I don't like advances to begin with because of the meta with uh, the Chiefs and 279. It's kind of, like, not very cool to begin with. But I've also been getting, like, a lot of, like, comments on, like, the way I lead, even though all I'm trying to do is win. Like, to some people, it, like, they're making it sound like I'm, like, the greatest asshole ever when I'm leading, which is, like, I, I don't, I don't really feel that way, to be honest. I know I can be kind of mean, but I don't think, like, I'm, like, I'm offending anybody's mother or father, to be honest. Like, when I play a game mode like that, I am warming up for campaigns, so I don't suck completely as an FCN campaign, because I'm kind of washed. And I'm just trying to win, but, like, I don't know, some people... And it's not the people that I'm playing with, they don't get offended, it's people in Twitch that are getting offended for them. I'm not sure if I should, like, hold value to it, or care about it, or should just, like, shrug it off and be like, you know, they've never really played competitive or aren't really used to it whatsoever. But I'm asking you on YouTube, buddy, what do you guys think about it? Like, I don't know. I think compared to, like, a lot of years ago, yeah, like, a few years ago, I was, like, a really, really big asshole. But not just on uh, advances, but also, like, in general. And I think I've gotten a lot more mellow, soft since then. Okay, I blame age, to be honest. Um, that I don't really think I'm, like, that mean anymore. Like, me either, like... During advances or just during regular streams? Of course, I feel like I'm meaner during advances because I'm trying to win, but I don't know, like... Compared to years ago, I feel like I'm a softie now. Like, I, I don't know. Let me know what you think about it. In the meantime, we've pushed up and we've started farming and scoring it like this. <laughs> no tomorrow. Uh, pretty chill and straightforward. And even handed does work very well here. Um, you know, a 215 and an IS-7 are not really the opponents that an even handed struggle with. Uh, ever so yeah with a small gun which is the gun I would recommend by the way for the E100 because of the DPM the big one is good for trading but it's also much harder to play properly with IMO um, because like lower shell speed um, lower DPM um, much harder to pen the shots as well because the gun is more random um, yeah you can have a really big blowout game with a big gun because you know for trading it's epic to 750 um, but in general, the small gun is just uh, much, much superior uh, at, at doing this. And 1-2 is your place to go with an E100. If you can push up like I did, then you push up. If you can't, then you don't. And you just sit there and angle. And it's an awful game. However, it is much better than just driving yourself to death, for example, into 9-0 line, which I see a lot of people do. Um, it's not something that works. It's not something that I would recommend. Most of the time, it ends up with you having a... A bad game. I don't pen the STV there, which is unfortunate. Um, the 183 is dying though. I love seeing 183s die. Makes my day, to be honest. We can pen the standard STV there. 538. Give us a nice 5k battle. So far, we're pretty chilling with this. We're pretty happy. We can pen his lower plate, of course. Caliber is high enough. And we take him out. 5.6 now in terms of the damage requirement. And we're just going to be rolling through towards the 907, towards the 
line and towards the STB. The line is still spotted behind the rock though. Maybe if he drops off. Maybe it hit. Uh, maybe it didn't. We already had a good game either way, so I'm not gonna be complaining about this. I'm gonna be happy with this and and take this to be honest. Um, and and move forward. I mean, you take the snap there because why not? It's pretty straightforward on steps on how you play. You go one two. You track if you can push up. If you can push up, you push up and dominate them. It also depends what tanks you're playing against because of course. Everything depends on the MM, right? If there's like a double two seven nine sitting there, well, then you can cry yourself to sleep because you're not gonna do anything to anybody. Like, as you're in any 100 and they're in a 279, a Chieftain, an s -Hook, whatever. All these kind of things uh, suck for you to play against because you struggle with penning them. They don't really struggle with penning you. I mean, you can angle your turrets, which is, of course, going to work for you. The line has a few more shots left. I get one. I'm getting crossfire between lines now. That's not good. I'm trying to angle as much as I can towards both of them. Well, surviving. I think he should be out of ammo now. Yeah, lines are sometimes a danger to you too if they're able to just clip you out. I think he used all his shots as well, which is a mistake. You never use the last shot in the line uh, unless you want to die, of course. If you want to die, then you use the last shot in the line like you did. They came up. Not looking if I can get one more shot towards the 907. He fired, he missed. Yeah, he gets rammed to that. Seven and a half. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll definitely take it. Good start. Good and strong start. And I will say the 100 can have really good games, but it's so dependent on the MM, the tanks you're playing against, and how the speed of the game. Because it needs a slow game to work. And if it doesn't get that slow game, it's simply not going to be working out for you. Um, but that doesn't mean it's a bad tag, but it also means that I wouldn't really normally move past the tier 9 of the E75 because I think the E75 is really an epic tank. Um, that's a nice tanker by the way, and we had the one blind, so 7.9. Um, but I wouldn't really be moving past the tier 9 usually because I, the E75 is truly an epic tank, minus in the part where it sucks against heat shells, but so does basically every German tank in existence. Um, so to keep that in mind uh now we get morovanka and recently on morovanka i've been becoming a bit of a what we call this one two line enjoyer in a way um from nord because it can be really really strong to play one two line from the nord however this goes into um the question of when do i go one two line and when do i go forest because if you do forest from nord you're usually going to lose the game as well. So it's like a like a trade-off. If I don't go forest, it's gonna be maybe bad for the team and I hope that many of my teammates go there. Um, so I can just go hold one two line with me and maybe the other E100. We don't need that many tanks there to hold it. It's pretty straightforward in my mind, uh, which means that we have mainly the tanks in the forest to hold the forest. And I think this is a decent split, I mean, you know, the CS, the first you, me and the 268 going towards one two and a Yak Pound around the Rhino. Uh, they have a 50B going into the window. Always remind you that from here, you can tap these guys playing here. This line goes here, you can set up here and shoot him. Um, but it's pretty safe, pretty reliable. And pretty straightforward as well. Um, so that is what you need to take into account. I think my RHM just had a... We, we would call that a brain fart in these parts of the world because... It doesn't really make sense to sit there when the line is pushing up. Um... I don't think anybody's going to be spotting the line, to be honest. I think it's another... Ooh, got spotted. I got spotted too, though. Maybe we spotted one another. Alright, so I'm going to keep pushing up on one too. Because I don't have reliable spots on the line to uh, use that to my advantage and get damage out. So, this is the 432 position. That is the one I'm going to be going to as well. Because it is a very strong position. Um, you can counter the corner. You can kind of counter this, you can counter the far back <coughs> over there as well. I am spotted, however. Um, it may just be their Manticore, to be honest. When you get spotted here, what you could always do is you could stop here for a second and shoot that little bush there. Um, it is very possible that there is a Manticore there, or, um, yeah, well, Manticore really could be playing over there to try and get the uh, Shots on you. 140 on the church, not that great for me though. E3 there is definitely not great for me. And gorilla speaking, we go for the Gorilla. We miss it. Yeah, we can play from the building here and... 
and encounter these people here and give them shots as well there we go give the gorilla a shot here and this mission is just really really strong um the e3 is a big issue for me though because like i really don't know what i'm gonna do against him um he has very high hold on capabilities very high pen it's very high of everything um however if he's not playing in a hold on then we're gonna you know we're gonna slap him right and the 140 made a mistake there but i don't know if i can punish this i go forward i bounce the shots from the e3 I miss him as well. I have one more before he reloads. The gorilla bouncing as well. Three, two, one. Lower plate maybe? No, it went, definitely went too too high for that. And now maybe I don't want to play the position here anymore. I mean, it's one, three. I might want to just move into the middle because I can't really counter the E3. And neither do I want to counter the E3. I kind of want to counter the 140 at this moment in time. And the lion. Um, Everything is spotted except for the FV, and that's fine for me. I have a shot here on the line. I gave him one. The 140, however, is behind this, and I would need a spot on him. Maybe if the Rhino could go, that would be very, very nice uh, if he could go. Um, I don't know exactly where he's sitting at 140. I didn't have really time to check it. Um, Okay, so he's playing more... He's playing in the bushes, but towards the left of it, like towards here, from what I see. Um, the Rhino is going, though, which is epic. He might also be further back towards there, though. Um, okay, the Rhino can't go anymore. No, he's further left now. He's like here-ish, from what I see. I can't really counter this, to be honest. And my Rhino is getting countered by himself, and he's just spot the 140 going backward. Make one pick against the E3 here, because this should be pretty safe. I give the E3 a shot, take one from the Lion. Um. <laughs> I'm trying to blind the Rhino here, because... Uh, Rhino, I'm trying to blind the Lion, because why not? I have nothing else to shoot at anyways. Where could he be with his Lion? <laughs> uh, they say I'm cheating, and every day I give them evidence to prove that I do. Huh? Uh, but yeah, that's a pretty good shot there. The three knocked every day as well, so we can blend towards that there. Um, everything is spotted though outside of the. What do you call it? The shit burn? The E3 here. If I kill him, that would be epic. I do kill him. There's a gorilla now in the forest. Um, STB is pushing closer, 140, maybe the 260 taps him, very good, very nice. He's now a one shot, if he would die that would be epic, but he won't. But the STB is coming closer, which means that I may, might be able to play against him here, but he's backing off again. Um, <laughs> what are you doing, my sweet summer trial? I'm gonna be pushing, oh, I can't push up against him, actually. Hey, bounce out, Sala. I was thinking about pushing up against him, but I can't really. I can go back to the position that we were playing before, though, which is like here, but it's like slightly different than we were playing before. But still pretty good, though. Um, must be pushing up. I can go behind a building here, which is fine. He's probably not going to want to trade against us because he's not stupid. But from here we can and peek like this. Um, we can't spot the lion apparently. Okay, we do spot the lion. There is the lion. There's a one to one B there as well now, which is fine for us still. Yes, to be speaking that corner. We can wait until. The okay. Okay. Mr. One to one B, are you alright? That's kind of dirty. But then again, he also has really high. Um, heat spender, like ridiculously high. Uh, bro, I even aimed longer to like not bounce the 50B and then bounce him anyways. Like, that makes me kind of sad. Okay, where can I sit kind of safe on this one? Tell me. Like this, I guess.
I am dead, very dead. <sighs> On 40 picking me for 50 people. Man, this one's one B, man. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god, bro. Bro, the double boss against the 50 B, like, really, like, making me lose 5k, bro. Like, like what the hell, man. I mean. They were in bad shots, to be honest. It's like kind of twice unlucky, to be fair. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I don't have any blinds either, I think. So it's going to stay 4k. Um, I did my... Man, we have one blind against the lion. But, uh, man, I tried my best here, though. Like, this was kind of unfortunate um, to call it that way. Like, that was kind of unfortunate to double bounce against the 50b. Not much that I could have done about this. I think, personally, like, I really don't think I aimed it badly. In any way, shape, or form, so. Like, I gotta know. I really don't know. My degree gets that bad, yeah, finally. Uh, and he misses. But yeah, we were losing this game. I, I really try my best there to hold the 1 to 1 B. We realized that the even handed is like slightly too tall for this position. If I played the. Um, actually, when I think about it, 1 to 1 B was here. I could have played slightly more forward and be fine. A bit my mistake. I went backwards too much. And gave him some extra shots. Yeah, hey, that's actually my bad in that regard. Hmm, yeah, that's my fault. When I think about it. Because I could have totally avoided that. Like, if you think about it, I could have totally avoided the fact that he could shoot me if I played slightly um, more forward. But then again, the 120 is also one of those things that kind of counters the E100 through kind of hard, because it's like 350 here. Which means that even on an angle, if they're hitting, they're panning basically. Um, Once one bees don't really struggle with you in your E100. Like anything with high heat pen doesn't really struggle with you. I mean, high EP, ACR ten pen too is like your. It's like your. It's like the number one count of the E100 is high pen guns, man. Like E3s, for example, go through it on every shot. I mean. 268 v4 it's, it's literally any almost anything the shredder goes through it and like every shot because of the ridiculously high pen that they have uh, so you know there is that but yeah um the enemy team is trying to hunt down my uh, last teammates and seems to be pretty uh, shit at doing so um <laughs> <coughs> i love this guy's nickname man that star fv1 and it's playing a shit burn. that is just tremendous Tremendous, really tremendous gaming. All right, boys, come on, close out the game. Either you win or you lose. It doesn't really matter to me. It's up to you, man. It's up to you. Both work. I think that 50B actually had a good game, but um, the thing is, though, I should have like, uh, what did I say? I should have um, given him two shots, man. I really should have given him two shots in that 50B and he would be dead. Can I say unlucky? I feel like I can kind of say that I got unlucky. But then again, it's a 50B. It happens sometimes. Um, what can I do about it? It happens sometimes. Was he lucky? Yes, he was. He most definitely was. I'll take it though. 4K is still like... Not terrible at all, so we'll take it. We'll definitely take it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You can see one two line can work there. Um, if they, they also had nobody playing close, which you know, um, I wanted to show you that you can dominate the guy close to the corner, but uh, yeah, okay, then. so four and a half K there, still not a bad result to be honest. Um, we are mainly owned by the one to one B, and the bounce on the 50B cost us a lot. This a man though. Sweet baby Jesus. Um, so, what do we have here? We have uh, tier 9 through 10 mm with not a single Tang Destroyer or ID. Interesting. Um, what are my possibilities? Bridge, if I'm crazy. Um, bridge if I'm crazy or 1 2 if I'm not crazy. Um, let's see. I think I'm gonna go 1 2 because like, bridge is a little bit too local. It's a, it's a little too 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 much. I know that if I go one two, I'll definitely run into people. Um, I can also stop at the rock 
give a shroud, maybe a second shroud if possible, um, and then cross over right away. So there's, there's definitely a possibility uh, in this regard. Going glacier side is one of the worst place ammo you could do. Holding your base is not very high. Getting stuck like here is very awful if they even take this, they take under, they take this, like this. There's a lot of versions of them. Um, there's a lot of versions in which the enemy team does very little and fucks you pretty hard. The best shot here, ooh. I'm gonna say the best shot here is to wait, but I don't think they'll be spotted anywhere because my entire ML is dying. This is still a decent shot though, and it's not great, but... I mean, we did take the bridge though, I gotta be... Yeah, 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 there's a long distance for me to cross over. Right? I gotta cross it at an angle, as always. I gotta cross it at an angle towards the rock. And this is a very important thing for everybody to pay attention to. Is like, you don't cross straight in a slow ass tank like this. You don't cross straight right because it's really, really bad. Um, you can get framed on the crossing, especially because they have a light on the corner. So you don't do that. You don't put yourself in the scenario where that can happen to you. The platoon 1, 60p VZ 5A. 1 5A cross this, 60p is here. I'm gonna play with the 60p around here. Um, the second thing, what you can't do is, you can't push these guys too hard right now because you don't have the numbers for it, your team is playing mainly bridge, you gotta be playing the corner here um, and playing off of that and then just try to get some shots in because you cannot do anything else you push up, you can get overrun and die, the 5 is for some back, that's good information to have I am very tempted to uh, shoot the T60 away with the 60 TP I think might be a fine play. I tried to get the shot before the 60 TP drove in front of me because I was trying to pay attention to where his positions with my position into account as well. And, uh, I did get the shot, I got the tracking as well. I'm starting to push up here. The good thing for us is here that a lot of times they have are going to be heavy strugglers. And what I mean with heavy strugglers is that a lot of their times have one low armor and second of all, low pen. Um, or may have been loading APCR in either of the two cases would be really garbage for them. Then the B is on the right, um, the structure is running away. Lion's on the left, he's peeking behind that bush though, like he is peeking there. I did not pen it, but it was a good shot. Uh, you just, you know, it's kind of hard to secure a pen if you don't see an outline. Then the B is feeling frisky. Very good gun against him. He's shooting AP with 240, which means he has a stock gun. Which means he's in very big uh, trouble. Got another good pen on him. If he would die, that would clear up the crossfire from the outside completely. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. You're always kind of snapping with an E100 gun half the time. It's just kind of the way it works when you're angling your turret. Although I didn't really have to angle my turret there. Depend the line through the track, keep him tracked for longer. I really don't care about the standard B anymore. Like, he has a stock gun. I was gonna say he's not gonna pen us, but uh, apparently that is also just a lie. I have to start putting a little bit of pressure here, because... Well... Okay. I actually hit him in the track, which is pretty good. I'm gonna finish the line instead. Uh, the Sheriff Retour tried to drive away from me and died in the meantime, and just because it is mountain pass, first of all, I should have an extra 500 damage minimum. Like, to start off with, I should have 500 damage more. No, actually, 1k more. I probably hit a shot on the crossing through. Another lion jumped off a cliff and died. Instead of trying to hold in the base. There is a way, by the way. I am not joking, but this lion jumping off, I don't know how much HP he had, but Mountain Pass <coughs> is one of the maps where you can actually win the game with only four or five times, by the way. It's one of those maps um, if you sit in the base, but apparently they're not doing that. I mean, the enemy team, they're just sitting in some weird ass positions. 
I mean, they're easy. Okay. It's, it doesn't work when you have a, all three of your tanks sitting here, though. But it's one of the maps where if you pull back into your base, you actually have an opportunity to do something. And you can see here, I mean, in the fight, I got a slightly unlucky man. I bounced the rhino, uh, the li lion on blind. Somehow, I bounced the try for two. Somehow, I didn't hit the shot on the crossing twice. If I hit two of those, it's 4k and it ain't all that bad, but since now it's a 3k battle, it's not that great. The speed of my tank is super limiting me to do much more on this altogether. There's a carcass in the way there to actually shoot the VZ. If I could hit a shot against the VZ, would it be epic? Uh, sure, I'll take it, man. This one singular shot would be... Well, yeah, uh, unfortunate. You want a handed gun? Not a sniper gun, let's put it that way. I mean, I could pen that, but... Hey! We did it! Thank you, game! We had a nice 526 on him. 3.5k. Is it great? Hell no, it's not great, man. But, like, at the same time... Uh, at the same time, though... I have 3k assist, and the people that I was fighting were driving away from me. Like, a full HP tried for tour. Like, a full HP tried for tour decided to die to everything behind. I bounced him, he rolls back, and he dies against everybody else. I can't do anything about that, right? Um, it is kind of unfortunate. In the first game, you could see what the E100 can do. In the second game, you could see what the E100 can do with a bit of shit or injury. And in this game, you could see what the E100 can also do when the game doesn't really go your way, when it speeds up really quickly, and you end up in a scenario that is what we call less than fortunate, where you're just driving and they're not in any position that you can get to. So 3.5k here could have been much, much more. Um, also, their line with zero damage jumping off a cliff. I mean, I don't understand that, but whatever, right? Over the three games, we managed to get 5.3 average, mainly because of that first game being a very much banger game. An equipment setup for the 100. I only use turbo hardening rammer. It is my standard setup. I didn't even use any field mods on this. I don't know why. Probably shoot out. Um, we don't recommend this anymore because you can get tracked in one shot behind a alpha aiming circle size, so the left one. Then the extra view range here, which is pretty normal. Um, on this here, we take the top forward speed because it is nice to have on any 100 and then on this you can take uh, you don't really need the left to be honest you could take the right if you really want to because you know it's barely any difference and you get a slight buff to the dispersion in that regard as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will see you guys all on the very next one thank you for watching see you guys on the very next one peace peace ciao, ciao.